There's this old but famous problem on the internet with some, well, fast food math. You see, three sodas equals 30, and a soda and two burgers is 20, and a burger and two fries is nine. Maybe you've seen this before. Maybe you think you know the answer. Either way, take a, take a crack at it. See what you think that this last line will equal. After you got it, go ahead and, you know, resume the video. Now I've taken the liberty of making this bright and beautiful, and uh, we're gonna work our way through this. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the very first line, because in order to, well, find the answer to the last line, we have to know what sodas are worth, and fries are worth, and well, also what burgers are worth. So let's look at the first one. So what we have here is a soda plus a soda plus a soda equals 30. Now, we have to make a bit of, a, of an assumption here. We have to take a leap of faith. We have to assume the soda is the same as the soda, and that's the same as the other soda, that all three are the same. If that's the case, that's a reasonable assumption, then this isn't really so bad because, well, if you add something to itself three times, you end up with 30, then that thing you're adding has to be 10. So I think each soda is gonna be worth 10. So a soda, yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say a soda's worth exactly 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so now to answer this, we need to figure out what burgers are and what fries are. So let's take a look at the second line right here. A soda plus two burgers is 20. Hmm. Now, a soda's worth 10, so let's go ahead and put 10 there. Now, let's see here. We got 10 plus something equals 20. Now, this something, it's two burgers. But don't get caught up on the details. Here's what we know. Because we're adding 10 to something, that something also must equal 10 because the sum is 20. 10 plus 10 is 20. So these two burgers must add up to make 10. And we can make the same assumption about the burgers that we did with the, you know, the sodas. So a burger is the same as a burger, therefore, I gotta be five, because five plus five is 10, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there that this burger is worth five. So let's plug that into, you know, our big picture right here. Burger's worth five. Now, if we can figure out what fries are, well, then we got this whole thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second to last line. A burger plus a fry plus a fry is nine. Hmm, now, we know a burger's worth five, so five plus something equals nine. Now again, there are two things in our something that we don't know, but combined, they have to be four, because five plus four is nine. So those two fries, they have to equal four. We're gonna assume once again, Fry is the same as the other fry, so something plus itself that equals four, it's gotta be two. So each fry is worth, yeah, two. All right, let's go ahead and put this all back together then. What we've got is two is what a fry is worth. Now before we go ahead and do our calculation here at the end, let's go ahead and just make sure we haven't messed anything up. So we've got that sodas are worth 10. So 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. I think that's right. And we've got that burgers are worth five. So 10 plus five is 15 plus five more is 20. That's good. And we have that fries are worth two. So five plus two is seven plus another two is nine. All right, I'm pretty confident. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last thing right here. So we've got a burger plus a fry times a soda. Hmm. That's the thing right there. We often get so focused on these little details that when well, we miss something really major like the order of operations, you have to multiply before you add. So let's go ahead and do that. 10 times two is of course 20, and then we can add the five and we get 25. Hope this video is interesting and entertaining and I hope you got kind of an idea of actually how algebra works without actually doing any formal algebraic steps. If it did, uh, if you did find it helpful and entertaining, you could click like and maybe even subscribe and visit my website, thebeardedmathman.com. And if you're a teacher, you can download this PowerPoint that I use to make the video and use it in your classes. I'll put a link down below. And as you can see, for each slide, there are notes and all kinds of stuff and cues that you can say and just help keep track of, of where things are going and where it's headed. And, and it helps put the whole lesson together for you right down here. Uh, I know it can be difficult using somebody else's PowerPoint, but the notes, I think, help keep it all nice and nice and clear. So anyway, my name's Philip Brown. I am the Bearded Math Man, at least according to the English teachers. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.